Hi everyone, in today's lesson we will be looking at how to do well on the IELTS general training reading test. As the reading tests are different for the academic and general training versions of the IELTS exam, we are going to cover them in separate lessons. This lesson is only for those who are doing the general training version of the IELTS exam. If you are doing the academic version of the IELTS exam, please look at the IELTS academic reading test video. So let's get started. The general training reading test is 60 minutes long and there are three sections with 40 questions in total. Each question is worth one mark, so the reading test is worth 40 marks in total. The texts that will come up in the reading um, test are all taken from newspapers, documents, instruction manuals, timetables and magazines. All the topics are relevant to living and working in an English speaking country. Let's go through each of the three sections of the reading exam. In section one, you have two to three short texts. The topics are relevant to living and working every day in an English speaking country. Section two gets a little bit harder. Here you have two texts again, but they focus on issues related to work, such as applying for a job, pay and conditions, staff training and development, and company policies. Section three is the section you should spend the most time on as it is the most difficult section. This text is quite long and is on a topic of general interest. So the best way to prepare is to practice as many exam questions as possible. The types of questions you may be asked to answer are multiple choice questions where you have to choose the correct answer from usually three or four options. For example, A, B, C or D. Short answer questions where you give very short answers with no more than three words. Um, sentence completion whereby you simply complete the sentence. Um, identifying information where you are given a number of statements and then asked if they agree with the information in the text. Here you need to write true, false or not given in the boxes on your answer sheet. Write about a writer's view or claims. In this type of question, you are normally given a number of statements and asked if the writer agrees with these statements. You have to write yes, no or not given in the boxes on your answer sheet again. Fill in or label diagrams is another question you may be asked or matching headings with um, the correct paragraphs. Another question that you may be asked is to match phrases. In the next lesson, we will go through in depth an actual IELTS general training reading test to show you how to achieve a band score of nine. It is important to remember that there are so many different types of questions that can be asked on the reading test of the IELTS exam. And the only way to improve and get a better score is to practice, practice, practice. See you in the next lesson.